Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to In The Fitness World's YouTube channel. I know it's been a while. I've been extremely busy actually. Um, I'm actually prepping for my next show. I'm doing Dream Nationals in Chicago. Getting ready to go up for my pro card. I'm about six weeks out from that. So you guys wish me luck. Um, today I want to do a quick video regarding cardio. Um, I've been picking up a lot of clients lately. Uh, people just been um, giving me, sending me emails, direct messages and stuff, asking questions about cardio. How much cardio should they be doing? Should they be doing cardio? Things like that. What kind of cardio is best, etc. So here's a few tips. I hope it helps some of you guys out for the ones who have the questions and things like that. Um, as far as cardio go, this is just my opinion. Now, don't get me wrong. There's tons of different ways to do cardio. There's tons of different type of cardio you can do. You can swim, you can cycle, you can run, you can do sprints, you can do high intensity interval training, you can do boxing. There's tons of different type of cardio. You can hike. So first things first is find things you enjoy. And I'm gonna go back to what I was gonna say is, my opinion, I think people should do cardio daily. And this is why, because we're constantly eating and consuming calories. So over time, this is how we gain weight. We, we're constantly you know, putting calories in, putting calories in, and we can't burn as much as we're putting in. So what do we, what does that cause? That causes us to gain weight. So if you allow yourself to do cardio daily and burn, and you can try to combat for some of those calories that you're constantly taking in. So that helps balance things out instead of you just gaining, 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 and constantly being in a calorie surplus. As far as a range of how much cardio you should do a day, I like to say anywhere from 30 to 45 to an hour. It depends um, on what kind of cardio you're doing. I'm a big fan of high intensity interval training. It has a tons of health benefits. I'll probably do a video, video later on that because there's tons of health benefits for, for um, people know it as HIIT training. Um, it's interval training. It's where you elevate your heart rate for a short period of time. You recover, elevate it again, you recover, and you do that for a certain amount of minutes a day. However, so I tell my clients, you want to do some type of activity daily. You just want to get active. You want to burn some calories daily instead of just constantly taking calories in, taking calories in. Um, my personal preference, I like to use the Stairmaster if I'm inside of a gym. I like to use the treadmill. I'm not too much of a fan of the bike or the elliptical. Um, the treadmill, what I like to do is I'll put it on an incline. So I'll put it on like a, a 10 to 15 incline, speed at about three to 4.0, and I'll walk. And I'll walk without holding on. So the key is you wanna walk without holding on to anything. You know, not holding on to any of the cardio equipment. So that way your, your body's working more harder. And it's like you're hiking. It's like you're walking up a, a trail. And studies show your body actually burns double the calories with doing so. Um, and we all know there's many health benefits to cardio. It's not just about losing weight or maintaining weight. You know, it's good for your heart. It's good for heart health. It's good for hormonal balance and hormonal health. It's also good for your metabolic rate. And that's the, the important part as well for people who are trying to you know, stay lean or get lean or increase their, their uh, or decrease their body fat. Um, those are just a few benefits. So again, I recommend people do cardio every day. It has tons of health benefits. It should be a part of you. You know, you wanna just get in the habit of doing it. Um, if you can, if possible, do it on an empty stomach. What First thing in the morning, let's say you have to get up at 7 a.m. Set your alarm for six. One hour setback, it's not gonna hurt you. If anything, you'll have more energy throughout the course of the day. If anything, you'll feel better, you'll feel more accomplished. So, you know, just get up, knock out 25 to 30 minutes of fasted cardio on an empty stomach. There's studies that show the benefits of fasted cardio as well. I'll go into a video on that subject as well. Just here, I just wanted to touch up a little bit on cardio and the importance of it. It's, it's, it's very, very important to, to have with a full program design. So along with your nutrition, along with your resistance training, rest, recovery, and things like that as well. Um, anybody have any questions, particular questions, you can always email me at floydflores at gmail.com. You can always head over to innerfitnessworld.com and check out some of my programs that I have there that have complete program design. So it comes with 
everything you'll need to know based on a program you're trying to accomplish. Um, all customized to you, um, nutrition, etc. Uh, thank you guys very much again. I know it's been a while. I'm gonna try to make sure I start to get these videos out more consistently. My goal is to continue to drop them every week from here on out. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you guys.